Hello guys! Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore! We are back at it and I'm farming some pumpkins because I want to make some more jack-o'-lanterns to lighten all of this all of this surrounding area up over here. But that is not the main focus of today. Today's topic will be interior design. Ouch! No, no, no walking in the berry bushes. No. Ooh. Oh, I have trapdoors, right. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, I have a plan, basically. Basically, I have a plan. For that, I need a lot of wood, which I seem to have. That's good. That's good, that's a start. Do we also have a crafting bench? I already forgot all about what we what we did the last time around. We have a crafting table. No, no. For the start, we need so many barrels. Guys, we need so many barrels. It's, uh, it, uh, yeah, it will, it's, it's hard. I would like to make this area our dedicated workshop. I would like to make this area our dedicated kitchen. Um, upstairs would be sleeping and enchanting and should we need more space we can just go further further into the mountain deeper into the mountain and just um create several more areas like like this one um but for the moment this should be fine and i think i have an idea on how to start we need chests and barrels those two walls here will be completely dedicated to storage. Mm, am I happy with you? No, I am not. Much better. That may be enough for this part. <laughs> hmm. Nope, maybe there can be a lantern because we still have to light stuff up over here. Another idea I had involves trapdoors that are placed on the um, top layer of... Oh wait, no, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? Uh, the other way around. Whoops, sorry, you will see why in just a second. This is also for chests. <laughs> mm, I'm actually thinking maybe we should not use spruce trapdoors here, but dark oak. Hmm. Now for this spot in the middle here, I want this to be the um, actual, well, workbench, so to speak, with all the uh, crafting tables, sm smithing tables, all the crafting um thingies that we that we need on a daily basis this guy is going to be in exactly this place any so i going to put him there mm -hmm. now the idea is to create a table and also Can we do this? Can we make this look like legs? Yes, we can. Woohoo! Um, even though we could also try and see how this looks. Ah, uh, I'm going for that. That gives it a little bit more um um something. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little bit more interesting, I think. Um, one more smithing table, I think, on the other side. Just for the looks. Mm-hmm. And... Another crafting table over here, just so this is, well, kind of even. And I would like to have a... What do you call that thing? A grinding stone. Um, boop. Now, we should have everything we really need in here. Of course, we also need an area to um, smelt ores and stuff. And I believe that is where we will use one of those big walls for. Um, question is, how are we going to make that look? 
Hmm. Ah? Huh? What do you think? This kind of similar to what we did in the um starter hole in the starter cave over there. I think ten furnaces should be enough for the beginning. Hmm. I'm not completely happy with it, gotta be honest, but it will do for now, I think. Yeah. So, uh, we have storage here, we have storage there, we have storage there. I actually would like to also smack some storage all over the place. <laughs> Just because we can. What else do we need? We need a little bit of lighting. I'm not completely sure that this will stay. Um, these lanterns. Hmm, let me think, let me think, let me think. Maybe we should randomize it a little bit. This one is way too, too centered in the room. Don't like that. This should be fine. And we will actually use another source of lightning. Lightning, lighting. <laughs> Not lighting. Much better. So, for the other bit that I was talking about, glowberries. The glowberries are actually, dang it, outside in the chest. <laughs> Maybe I should get that stuff inside? Maybe? Boop. Mm -hmm. No, the wrong berries. Those are the right berries. And bone meal. That is what we also need. Um, let me think, do we actually need, I think you have to place glowberries on moss, I must, I might be wrong. Hmm. Oh, also leaves. <laughs> leaves? Oh, we don't have azalea leaves anymore. No. Okay. I can, I can solve that. Uh, Mimi, you don't see me. You don't see me. I don't see you. Nobody has a problem. Okay. Okay. So sneaky, they're so quiet. Oh boy. Okay, now we should be ready to go. Um, the idea of this whole grass roof is basically we can create a nice overgrown look inside of a base because why wouldn't a moss slash grass roof kind of make its way down here? Yeah? And if there's moss, works maybe like this and I believe that if you use yes oh this is awesome oh best light source in the game <laughs> oh I'm happy now look at that oh I like this maybe we should add some some more a little bit random spots of, of, of leaves so it doesn't um uh, look that forced you know what I mean um this look should look somewhat natural just like the the wood rotted away and the and the uh, greenage made its way down here there's the plan at least Whoop. and Maybe here, maybe here. Just little bits here and there, nothing nothing fancy, nothing not not too much. Boop. And we are actually out of glowberries. How do I get more of you? Can I bone meal you? Yes! Oh boom boom. Ah, that's how that works. Awesome. Awesome. 
Like this? Oh, I need a lot of bone meal. <laughs> um, I really need a lot of bone meal. Generally, in the future. Just, just overall. <laughs> I use so much of that stuff. Mm. Not sure how quickly we can get our hands on um, a skeleton farm, though, to be honest. So, yeah, gotta be careful <laughs> for the moment. Mm, we have one more. I would like to use that. Yeah. Here. Moist pluck. Glowberry. Boom. And maybe one flowery bit. Oh, that's a flowery bit. <laughs> nice. And actually, I'm pressing F3 to see the light levels. Um, uh, this looks really dark to me here. Yeah, light level 7 I saw. That is too dark. That will allow stuff to spawn, so we are going to place this here. And that should solve that problem. Oh, actually, before I forget, I wanted to do some... one one other thing. One, one other thing, mm-hmm. Perfect English. Now, pew, pew, moss. Spruce. Because everything is better with spruce. Um... Mm, you and you. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Tiny flower bed. <laughs> I like that. Oh, and I also like flower pots because then we can have more flowers. Best logic ever. Now, a lot of this is still unfilled. I brought over the most important bits and bobs that we have over in the other base but i didn't take everything i took basically half of everything we had over there because sooner or later those um this big base main base and the starter base will be connected through here anyway and i need storage on both sides at least i think there's no sense really to just get everything from over there over here and, and then need it over there again and yeah you know um so, the kitchen. <laughs> this is a little bit harder. I have to wing this mostly. One thing I know is I want an oven. A really big oven with um, smokers inside. Not, um, not, the on, not the normal furnaces like here, but smokers. Because smokers um, are a little bit more efficient when it comes to cooking meat. Now, for smokers. What do we need for smokers? Whoop! Hey! Why, what, who? Ah, okay. <laughs> logs and furnaces. Okay, I have some logs in here. Mm -mm. Three is the number I need. Okay, and around that, I want... Where did I, where did I put it? Yes deep slate and the kind of deep slate that I want is the deep slate tiles as well as actually normal deep slate and polished deep slate. Now what I want to do is basically let's say this oven comes out of the wall like this. I want to frame it in the a little bit darker um, tiles and this is actually too high I think hmm boop boop beep boop yes that is basically what I want uh-huh the smokers would be here I'll leave that open so we can get in and back here I eventually want to have magma blocks so it really looks like the, the oven is glowing and hot and steaming um, for the moment. Hmm. 
we'll have to make do with, let's say, let's say, like this. And this could be the um, chimney, so to speak. Yeah. And what I want to do, just for a little bit of um, ambiance, this is what I want. Campfire. I want campfires behind these smokers. Because those have a nice little sound effect and the smoke effect. Which obviously is quite fitting for this spot. Now we cover this whole thing up with... As every time, spruce trapdoors. <laughs> I'm noticing that I use those for basically everything. Which may or may not be good. Now this basically looks like a pizza, a pizza oven. You can put your pizza on top here. Now, what else does the kitchen need? It obviously needs a lot of storage as well. Yes, that is not the problem. We can just put that over here. But a big kitchen also needs... Well, a table. A gigantic table. Of course. And we will also... Put this table around here. And I would actually like to try something out. I want this table to be really big. Really, really big. I would like to frame the spruce wood in dark oak and see what that does. Because just a, a table just in one color, I believe, would be just a little, little bit boring. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can live with that. Now there obviously needs to go a lot on top of the table like a lantern and as soon as we get some uh, maybe candles I would also like to mimic the plates and, 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 and stuff that's on the table. I like that. <laughs> now obviously a little bit of greenery as per protocol. Bucket of milk. Could use one egg. Oh thank you so many. I didn't need so many. <laughs> And a little bit of sugar cane to craft sugar. And together with a little bit of wheat and actually two more buckets of milk. I'm a dummy. I <laughs> didn't get it right. We have a cake. Oh, glorious cake. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and I also brought a beetroot. And an apple. Now I have an idea for chairs. This will be the bottom of our seat. We will create armrests and the back of the chair. By crouching you can smuggle the trapdoor on top of there. And then we are going to boop the banner on there. Ta-da! It is a chair. La! Eh, no! I can't place a... <laughs> no! Why does stuff go wrong all the time? I don't like it. I cannot place two signs, you see, in this and in this spot. Doesn't work. Won't let me do it. So, okay, improvise, improvise, improvise. Um, this is a bench now. <laughs> I still work like this, I have no other idea. <laughs> mm, should be fine, actually. And we'll have two benches instead of four chairs. Mm, yep, pew pew. Like this. I think I can live with that. Noise. Noise, noise. No, eventually I, I might find a better solution for that, but, well, this counts as a table with, um, with a bench, with two benches, and I'm running on top of it, like, <laughs> like you're supposed to. <sighs> mm, now, for storage in the kitchen. And, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, ta-da! 
<laughs> I just had to, uh, yeah, try around a little bit. I actually moved the bench and the food over here because uh, this was getting a little bit tight. I like this um, sort of little separation between the uh, oven and the, um, well, kitchen counter, if you can say that. We have we have a sink, <laughs> we have a crafting table, we have all kinds of, of, of barrels for storage, and we have even, well, let's just pretend this is some sort of kitchen herb. <laughs> yeah, and more storage, obviously. Now I want to do something else that I've uh, uncovered in, in, that I discovered in my, on my tiny server that I had. Um, wait. This is going to be a bird cage. <laughs> we don't have a bird yet, but one day there will be a bird in this bird cage. <laughs> it will be glorious. Now, I will add some um, greenery, just like over here. Maybe not that much. Oh, this is actually getting, getting quite a bit. Is this stuff growing? This stuff is growing. Yeah, this stuff is so growing. Can I can I cut you down? No. Dang it. Um But I can grab the berries from there. Which is great. Then I don't have to use any bone meal. I didn't know. I didn't know they would grow. This is awesome. Well, I have to <laughs> I will have to find a way to stop them from growing because this will get quite obnoxious. Um, but for the moment it gives me berries. <laughs> and I'm happy about that. So, see you in a second. And for the last bit I want a picture on this What? This is a big one. Who? I'm not sure that is fitting. Um, if you want to tell the picture which which space to occupy basically you can encase it in blocks like this i'm just not sure if there is a three by two picture actually hmm might have to improvise a little bit you know what we're going to take that and add two smaller ones now before i do that the oven we did together this part we also did together this is green and nice and I <laughs> actually found out, um, I didn't know that before, that you can make mossy cobblestone from cobblestone and moss. I did not know that and I've <laughs> pre previously mentioned that I want to integrate mossy cobble blocks in, in, in every stony bit of this build. So yeah, there's a little bit left to do. Um, what was I doing? I was... Crafting two pictures. Oh, maybe one will even do it. Like it is? Nah, I don't don't think so. Hmm. Don't like the color. Maybe something reddish. That's good. That almost counts as a uh, three by two. <laughs> I think. Oh, we gotta eat, actually. Mm, where the food? Where the food? Food? I have to move all the food over here. Up to the uh, other floor. How are we going to do this? This might be a little bit difficult. Well, no. Actually, no. I know exactly what I want to do here. Um, but the enchanting area? Mm, that's a little bit... Yeah... I, have, I will have to put my thinking shoes on for this one. Well, let's do the bedroom first anyway. Now, I've been smelting a little bit of cactus to get green dye. And I actually want another bit of green dye, but the lime green one. And I need two of those, so... Ah, oh, this, this hurts my soul, but we know where to find more sea, sea pickles, so I'm actually somewhat okay with that. Mm. This is giving me the lime kind, yeah? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 
we will with the remaining wool craft wait two lime wool and the rest green wool and we will make carpet with those I also want to make a few bookshelves because well I can for decoration purposes and for well for the enchanting area Whee! now Yum. so my plan involves a a double bed because that is just the only way to go <laughs> and the top of the bed will be spruce logs for that neat rustic look and we will whoop, like this now this is an XXL bed king size bed king size queen size whatever that is called <laughs> um yeah like that mm-hmm uh, okay and i was thinking about oh dang it we need way more green carpet Urgh. i need to find some sheepies oops hmm okay we need a few more sheep i wanted this lime green as an accent to the other green and i believe that green goes very well with orange so yeah, I think I will have to find some sheep. Hmm, <laughs> maybe like a dish. And like a dish. Yeah. This I like. Hmm. Now that is a little bit low, right? You know what? I actually like that. It makes it way more cozy. Um, black oak sapling here. Do we have any more pots? I think we do. Did I use them all? Oh boy, I used them all. Oh no. Oh no. I will have him to make a quick little resource run, I believe. <laughs> I'm out of a lot of stuff. So basically the next day I went down the riverbed towards the flower forest and I punched down some squiddies who were guarding a lot of clay and I basically dug out all the clay that I could find in the whole river. I also found some sheep that gladly handed over all their wool, planted down some pumpkins and harvested them so we can make more lanterns. And on the top of our mountain, I dedicated a little area just to tree farming. Nothing spectacular. I laid out a little bit of dirt and, well, planted some trees, cut them down. The usual stuff. And after about two hours of grinding, this is all the bricks that I um, made out of the clay that I gathered. This is the wool that I was harvesting whilst, well, basically growing trees, cutting trees. Uh, just so you know what two hours of grinding look like, now I think we should have enough stuff to finish the interior here. And, oh, it's night, sleep, boop. And I thought that, well, for the enchanting setup, we don't really need two enchanting setups. And this will be our main base, so I'd like to take down the stuff over in the cave because if i'm if i'm right then somewhere around here should be uh well a good bit this way should be um, the back of of the main base now so maybe in the next episode we can dig a tunnel um the connection between this and this um maybe even create some sort of bulk storage unit cave thingy uh, in between doesn't matter right now what matters is that we take down this thing first of all the enchanting table and very important bookshelves if you cut them down with a normal axe you will get only books not the bookshelf but we have silk touch on our axe which allows us to get the bookshelves whole we also need a lot of lanterns i believe we are almost out of iron again now 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 
I had a tiny little cheeky idea, actually. I mean, we are out of green carpet, yes. What if we just place down a little bit of moss carpet? I mean, nobody has to know that this is not actual wool. Um, if you don't look too closely, this even looks a little bit fluffier than the wool, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave that like this. <laughs> Now, how do we set up the enchanting table? I would say we can place down a lot of books along this wall and along this wall. Ooh, maybe we can even make it a little bit dynamic like this. Um, need more bookshelves. Shouldn't be a problem. We have so much leather and so much sugar cane. 16 bookshelves. That is wonderful. Okay, with that we can yeah, go a little bit nuts. Like this? Hmm. Actually not sure if I like this because then we have this free space here. I want to know if um do we actually get the max level enchantments like this? Yes, we do because we went so high up. Because if we uh, would place bookshelves here, they would be too far away to um, give the 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 uh, um, enchanting bonus on the enchanting table. But there are enough bookshelves in reach to get us to the max, which means we can just place them here for decoration purposes. We need a little bit more storage, like um, chests and barrels over here. We have a lot of chests. That is nice. And we always need more barrels. And we also can craft a cartographer's table because up there would be the ideal spot for that. We don't really have a map room yet. I'm not sure if we will even bother making one. Um, but for the time being, this could just stay here. Mm. Be like so. And what if we put the barrels a little bit inwards? I like that. Then we could... Beep, beep. Put this up there. And say put the lapis lazuli in this one. Then this would be the lapis lazuli chest. Also install a little bit of lighting, of course. Maybe something over here. Oh, that doesn't look good. That does not look good. This? What if? What if directly above the enchanting table? Hmm, there's the dirt. Just there. Oh, no. Hehe. <laughs> what if we do this? That should be fine. Okay, and last but not least, a little bit of storage, maybe like this, I like that, even deeper into the wall. A mm, little bit of flower pot action, we like it in flowers. Boop. And see how we have this grey carpet, the dark grey carpet. Let's see if we can't. Right. Make grey wool, black wool, and dark grey wool. Wait. Light grey wool, black wool. Yeah, I have to make the carpets. <laughs> and black carpet. Wait. Let me see. How could we create some sort of gradient, maybe? Could look fancy. Mm. Boop. Bam, bam, bam. Boop. Not you. Hmm. Not sure if I'm happy with that. 
Well, it's better than the blank floor, I think, because that surface was just a little bit too, too much uh, plain wood. I think we can leave it like that. After a few minutes more of tinkering, I am ready to give you the full tour. Let's go and see. So I've cut down the vines a little bit. I need to get a permanent solution for that. But um, that aside, the workshop is done, basically. We have a furnace area. We have um, a storage, the most needed materials and tools and sticks and other very important stuff centered around the workshop table. We have our kitchen. But, uh, before I forget, I'm not sure if I mentioned it. I really like this floor design. We have a kitchen with our yet to fill bird cage. We need a parrot for that. Hmm. Sooner or later we'll get one. We have our monstrous table with food, with a cake, with our chairs. Well, more benches than chairs, but who cares? We have all sorts of little nooks with storage pictures. We have our big old pizza oven. We have our kitchen working uh, kitchen counter is, I believe, the, the right term with a sink and more storage. We have a bedroom with the fluffy, definitely not a moss carpet, um, carpet. <laughs> Lots of bookshelves, a um, desk to, to, to write stuff down. All sorts of item frames because I just like putting flowers in item frames. Leave me. <laughs> Few more. A uh, little storage thingy, green stuff, uh, just basically just to fill the room. <laughs> and our enchanting area, together with the cartographer's table and all sorts of storage, of course. And I have to think about what to do in the next episode, because there's several things we have to do if we want to make progress in this hardcore let's play. Because eventually I want to fight the dragon, I want to beat every bit of content that the game has before the next big update comes out and we have to reset the world basically. So we have to get going. I'll think about what to do next. Hope you enjoyed this episode guys. Leave me a like if you did and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye!